So hey y'all, hey, hey friend, hey girl, guess what? I'm back on your screen. So look, listen, welcome to day one of what? Nebuary, okay? <laughs> Listen, y'all, in today's video, it is what it is. It's the intro of how I started my day. Basically, that's all it was, okay? I'm gonna let you know now, some of these videos gonna be short. I'm trying to make some of these videos like inspirational videos. I did wanna stop and let you all know that I'm gonna try to get all the videos out that you all wanted me to get out in the month of February. Some of you all asked for some cooking videos. I will try to do that. Some of you all ask for my updated shower routine i was so shocked about that okay a lot of you have asked for my skincare routine your girl is sitting before you on your screen with no makeup on okay just mascara and a lip liner okay so look listen i will be bringing that to you all as well i'm trying to bring a lot of different things this month like last year i brought you all a lot of story times on last year i put y'all in my business on last year this year i just want to do something different i want to do some uplifting i want to make people smile which i already do that every time i come on your screen <laughs> because i can't help it y'all know your girl is goofy but i want to just do something different and if you want to see something different or if it's a certain type of video that you want me to put out this month just comment down below don't be shy don't be scared girl go ahead and drop your comment down below if it's a certain type of video that you want me to put out so look listen y'all i'm not gonna be rambling on or whatever whatever so let's jump into my day y'all gonna see how it started and how it ended this is basically how it's ended okay no I'm playing. <laughs> so look listen girl let's just jump into my day okay Hey y'all, I'm back. So look, listen, in this video on today, I decided to try to do an ecstatic type video. I've been trying to do my research. I've been practicing with doing them. I think they are so pleasing and so relaxing to watch. So I wanted to try to do one myself. So on this day, I made the bed this morning. I told you all that I've been watching things on Instagram and they saying like you, your life will be grand if you just make your bed every morning. Of course, I took a shower, got myself together just to stay in the house. Y'all, I didn't go anywhere. I stayed in the house to record videos for you all. I also done some editing this day. I did my face care. I do have that video coming for you all because y'all ask so many people keep asking but i promise i will have it coming for you all i'm done with the shower there i go hey come on in girl let's get this face presentable okay so yeah girl since i'm not going anywhere today i will not be putting on any foundation today i will simply be doing my eyebrows because you know your eyebrows is just the canvas of the face honey and i will be applying mascara as well as moisturizing my skin y'all i have been really obsessed with my skincare lately i know i've never had no really really bad skin but when you take pride in your skin and you really start to see your skin brightening up you know dark spots are disappearing it, it makes you just want to continue your face care routine and again like i said i will be having a video coming for you all but you all since i've been doing a different type of skincare routine my skin has been so bright like i can sit here and say that i feel comfortable without foundation you all know i don't play about my foundation honey i just don't play okay with that being said i've been doing it on a regular i've been doing my face mask y'all know i had a problem with face mask you know me and gail got into it about that face mask honey like she really wanted me to try she went out and bought it and honey i hid it in the glove compartment y'all heard about that in the car one day we was leaving so anyway girl i'm putting on this toner on my skin right now and it is the fat water from Rihanna's skincare line. And I'm just going to put this moisturizer from Olay on my skin, you all. I love this so much. It's called Whip in a Jar, something like that. All I know is it makes my skin feel so fluffy and airy and so soft. I love this moisturizer so much. I don't know if it's doing anything for my skin, but I do know it makes it feel so good and i love it that it's a good moisturizer for my skin 
And again, like I've told you all, like I've never really had an issue with breakouts or anything like that. I have like my imperfections and stuff like that. But other than that, I have never really had any skin breakouts. So um, I can't really tell you all what helped me because like I said, never really had skincare issues. But girl, anyway, let's move into this short nappy wig girl that I found over in a corner somewhere, okay? And I don't know why I pulled it out, honey, because I hate short wigs. Like, I don't know. I can wear a short bob, but I don't know. I purchased this wig for Gail. As y'all know, Gail loves her short hair. But it's old. It gets a little bit matted in the back. So I decided to wash it and, you know, pull it off a day because I wasn't really going nowhere this day. I was just staying in the house and making this a record day. So, of course, I'm going to put some mousse on there. It's real pretty when you wash it and you put product on it, honey. But when it dries, it just look all dusty and stuff. So, anyway, this is what I'm going to be calling my in-the-house wig. Y'all know I'm good for that, baby. I keep me an in-the-house wig. Y'all know that from back from my cleaning videos. Okay. So, girl. Y'all, look how pretty my skin is. Look at it, baby. What? <laughs> look at it. Girl, don't miss it. Okay. So, girl, look, listen. I don't know who came up with this baby hair stuff. Like, you have to do it because it's lace on the wig. You know, you have to just be the bomb diggity in order to get it to just look like it's growing out your scalp when you don't use no baby hair. But, honey, it's not baby hair. It's like grown folks hair. Baby old lady gang hair. Okay. I don't know what it is, girl. It is a hot mess. But, honey, I did what I had to do just to record some videos honey and it's a hot mess girl when you don't know what the heck you're doing okay <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and tie this dollar 79 scarf on it that i got from i believe walmart and then girl we just gonna call it the day and i'm just gonna be walking around looking like uh maybe rick james the old boy from uh coming to america niece or something that's what we're gonna be looking like in today's look okay and boom bam i got it you know just tie it one time tuck it up under and then you just keep it moving girl that's how we gonna do that and boom bam there we go and that's how your girl was looking for today okay <laughs> it may not be given what it's supposed to give but girl it's given i need to record okay so now we're just going to jump in outfit of the day in the house outfit of the day and i just got on this throwback outfit right here from fashion nova yeah it is what it is okay so girl it is now time to make some coffee but first we got to go to walmart to get some coffee and some heavy whipped cream as well as some tea because we have run out of all those things so your girl is up here at walmart and y'all know that's my favorite coffee this is the coffee i use to drink iced coffee they have like three different flavors they have unsweet somewhat sweet and sweet or whatever and girl it is so good so friend i'm just going to show you what i use in my coffee i have my sugar i have my unsweetened vanilla and i have my collagen i've never showed you all this but yes we put collagen in our tea coffee or whatever it is that we're going to drink honey Pouring my milk in there and stirring it around. You know, I like light skin coffee. I put two spoons of sugar in my coffee and I put a spoon of French vanilla in my coffee as well. And I'm going to top that off with some whipped cream, honey. Okay. That is what you call a coffee, baby. It's Starbucks at home. Okay. <laughs> Yes, girl, but I y'all need to jump on this collagen, okay? It's good for everything skin, dimples in your skin, okay? Nails, hair, you know what I'm saying, girl? So friend, you know you cannot start your day without lighting a candle. I have my coffee. I'm now lighting my candle with the new electric lighter. I love this thing, okay? <laughs> So, okay, y'all, the mood is now set. So, y'all, let's talk while I comment back to some of y'all comments, okay? So, y'all, it is now time for the segment of asking for a friend, okay? So, y'all, we have this friend that wants to know if she's a side chick or a mistress. Okay, y'all, did y'all just hear me? She wants to know if she's a side chick or a mistress. Look, listen, y'all, we just gonna dive right in, okay? 
Okay, y'all. Of course, she's calling herself a side chick or a mistress. So she's dating a married man. She says he spends some holidays and nights with her. She said he has taken her on business trips to business parties or gatherings or what have you. And as she said, out of town as well. She said he spends his coins on her, fill up her gas tank, S-E-X her when he wants to. And notice when I said when he wants to, okay. Uh -huh. Drop bands on her here and there and spend quite a lot of time with her. She said he even walks her dog, y'all, okay. She said he even walks her dog. Y'all, y'all, our friend wants to know if she's a side chick or a mistress. And I promise you, y'all, your girl can't make this up, okay? Y'all, I'm not adding or deleting from the story, okay? This chick really wants to know. Sometimes, y'all, I believe those people that email at, that emails me at ask Charnel Lene be trolls because y'all none of our true friends will really ask us this question but again y'all while i'm speaking of that if you all have a question you want to be answered just email your question over at x at gmail.com your identity will not be revealed so y'all <laughs> here's what i had to say to our friend girl not only are you a side piece you a sideline haul you a side of grapes you a piece of cat, a slice of pizza, a no cherry on top, use a hog, okay? Dust to the side chicks. Like, girl, friend, why would you ask this? You know dang on well you a side chick. Mistress is just a fixed up pretty name for what you're doing. That's all it is, honey. You are a side chick, a miserable side chick. You think you have something because he's spending time with you. He's spending his corn on you. He's taking you on business trip. That doesn't make you nothing but a dumb side piece, a sideline. You know what? Okay. That's what that makes you. There is no difference between a side chick and a mistress, ma'am. That's just a fancy name for a sideline hoe. Okay, baby. I don't know if you're a troll or you're a true friend, but baby, you already know what the answer was to this question before you email. But since you wanted to play with me, I'm going to play with you. You're a sideline hoe, and that's on period, okay? Know the difference between a girl and a woman. Same gender, different breed, okay? And one more thing, honey. You're going to forever be a sideline hoe, a side piece, a mistress, or whatever it is that you want to call it, he's never going to leave his wife for you. You will forever be a side chick, okay? Dust to the side chicks. So look, listen, y'all. I want y'all to comment down below and let this chick know what she really is, okay? But let's keep it cute in the comments, y'all. All right. Ooh, child. So anyway, y'all, next I want to talk about, you know, depression and touch a little bit on mental illness. So you all know I have suffered from depression, deep depression. I've talked about it, you know, numerous times on my channel. You all know that I lost my mom. I lost my home to fire and I've been dealing with a lot. I have dealt with a lot and uh, I can say that I am a lot better. But, you know, there were times when I felt like I was dealing with it all alone. I acted as if everything was okay. I was getting over things really fast. And in reality, I really wasn't okay. You know, one minute I'm happy, the next I'm sad. I was not okay. I've been through a lot of pain. But the good thing is that I'm wise enough to know that I must keep pushing and that alone helps me to keep moving through life and taking another step forward towards my destiny, towards my purpose in life. I know this may sound crazy to you, but girl, <laughs> I have this, this other voice in my head. No, I'm not crazy. And to be honest, I believe it's my conscious. But I have this voice in my head. It's like a voice of reasoning, like, it's going to be okay. You're fine. Don't do that. Don't say that. Don't, don't say that about yourself. You are smart. You are wonderful. You are beautiful. 
and it, it like it directs me in a new way of thinking i'm always thinking like why i'm not happy why i always feel sad like why can i just be so happy and this voice will always just say to me you are happy you are fulfilled like you are fulfilled you have a beautiful daughter you are doing great you may not be where you want to be but you're right on time like that voice always talks to me and i know it may sound crazy but i'm telling you y'all it is a voice and then i always in return be like you're right you know i i, I have a story to tell i have a testimony i've been through something nothing is new under the sun it's a woman out there somewhere that's been through the same thing that i have have been through I have a story to tell I have a lot to say and I really want to help women I want to fight against cyberbullying I want to fight against bullying period in life in schools on the internet because the people on the internet can be so cruel back then we really didn't have the internet you know we didn't have influencers you know what i'm saying we didn't have people like you see these young women these days that being influencers that they're putting their life out there and whatever they put out there a video a picture whatever they put out there it's been put out there so someone on the internet can judge it criticize it you know just imagine being an older woman thriving off oppressing younger women i will never understand that i will never understand that you know even in the nursing field those old head women them throwback women they will eat up the young like them old women will dog those new baby nurses you know fresh out of high school went right into nursing school REN's by the time they're 23 and them old head nurses was just dog them out and it's sad like I just want to help people I promise you I cannot stand it I never understood how is it that someone that does not have their life together how could they speak on someone that does have their life together I know the answer to that but how do you feel comfortable doing it knowing that your life is jacked up, knowing that you're hating because you don't have what this person have. And then you do it on the internet so everyone can see it. Like, I will feel so embarrassed to do something like that. You have to be careful with things like that, y'all. It's so many people out here in the world that have everything that they could ever want in life. But y'all, they are committing the S word. Y'all, we've heard about Regina King's son. He had all the love in the world. There's nothing like a mother's love, but it wasn't enough to keep him here. We don't know what was going on in that young man's mind. You know, what battles he was fighting in his mind. We don't know that, but he still had a loving mother. I'm sure a praying mother, but it wasn't enough to keep him here. So my point in saying that is that we have to be really careful on how we treat people and what we say about them because you never know what's going to push them over the edge then we have the beautiful beautiful young lady the uh, miss usa i believe jumps off a building in new york i believe just the other day 30 years old like really and you know one her post on i think twitter instagram was saying that she dreaded turning 30 because she felt like she hasn't, I'm gonna try to put in my own words. I can't remember what she said verbatim, but something that she haven't met the standards of society, of the world, of the internet. Like really, you all, that's why we have to be really, really careful. We have to be mindful. We have to keep an eye out on our young children, especially our young daughters and young girls and these teenage girls and these young ladies. We have to keep an eye out on them. You all, I know you all heard me say this so many times that I'm always asking my children, my sons, are you okay? How is your heart? Are you feeling anything? Are you going through anything? Do you need to talk? We need to ask these questions every single day, every single day to make sure that we are there with our children. I don't even know why I wanted to make this type of video, you know, with a voiceover or whatever. But, you know, I have a lot on my mind. I have so many thoughts and stuff. And uh, I think I'm just going to end this thing here because I can go on and on and on about this. You know, 
And I just want to say this here again. You know, I really appreciate all of you all for all the love and the support you all give. I love all of you all on purpose and with the love of God. And if ain't no one told you today or yesterday, or even if they have, I'm going to tell you, you are beautiful. You are wonderful. You are magnificent. You are everything. I want you to keep pushing and never give up in or on life. Stay up. So, y'all, with that being said, y'all, I really don't have anything else for this video. So, hey, y'all, hey, look, listen, I'm back on your screen. Everything is done. Your girl has had her AM care. I had my shower. I did my face care. I have had my coffee. I've done a little writing. I've done a little bit of editing. I did a little bit of recording, which I should have showed you all that as well in this video. I hate I didn't. But anyway... That don't even matter. So look, listen, y'all. I hope you all enjoyed this video because guess what? Because I really enjoy recording it for you all. I don't know why I really did enjoy recording this video. So look, listen, I want to also say another thank you to all of you all. Thank you all for supporting your girl. And if you're new here watching this video, before you leave, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Honey, it's free. Friend, it's free. Become one of our friends, okay? It's so free. And trust me, you will not be disappointed, okay? Because your girl keep you laughing okay so look listen y'all your girl ain't got nothing else for y'all in this video so with that being said i'll see y'all the very next time i turn this camera back on so until next time until the next video bye bye hey <laughs>